Hello my friends all over the world, wherever you are. William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation. In today's juice I'm going to make another anti-inflammatory and spine cord health juice with burdock root, otherwise known as goba root, and turmeric and a few other ingredients. Let's look at my other ingredients. All right, my friends, here are my ingredients. In addition to about 50% carrots, I have French sorrel here. And French sorrel is one of my favorite greens because not only does it make your juice sweet, but it will cleanse every gland in your body. In addition to that, I've got the goba root. I've got one medium-sized beet, some ginger, a head of garlic, the turmeric that I've already mentioned, red Swiss chard, a few broccoli leaves, some dandelion, and one romaine lettuce. So let's make some juice. As usual, I'm going to plug in my thermometer and add three ice cubes to cool down the cutter and the feed tube. I want to keep all of my produce under 23 degrees centigrade. And I'm going to start with the red Swiss chard. point out that I'm using the front loading feed tube which I really really like and I have the near zero blowback cutter on here. So let's continue making um, some pulp for my juice and I want to point out that the near zero blowback cutter does an excellent job on greens. the leaves. Now whenever you're doing greens, your grid always gets clogged up because greens are very, very fibrous, so it's very important to clean your grid on both sides as often as you can. Whenever you notice the motor starting to work hard, clean your grid. So let's continue. Another ingredient that I didn't mention in my uh, ingredients list is lamb's quarter, which is usually considered a weed, but it's very, very nutritious and a good sign in your garden if you have lamb's quarter growing. It means your soil is very healthy. my ginger. Medium sized beet. And my garlic. I'm break off the root that's got some dirt on it, discard that, put in a whole head of garlic. a little tip. When you do your last greens, get a couple of small carrots, feed them in. And after you feed in two carrots, 
clean the grid to get the last of that green pulp off your grid and then continue with carrots. It's a good idea to clean your grid after you do your greens. I always put two carrots through before I do that. If you have large carrots you can only get one end at a time and generally you feed in the large end in first but when you have small carrots you can reverse it put in two at a time. just did my last carrots because I have about 50% carrot pulp here and I want to remind you there's always a plug of carrot in here so what we're going to do is put some carrot pulp in the feed tube and force that last plug through. This way we shred everything and we're going to take out the grid holder, clean the grid, clean the feed tube, mix the produce and mix the juice. The next step is to mix the produce thoroughly so the carrots mix with the greens and all the other ingredients. And I find if I spin the bowl in both directions I get a better mix. And I do want to point out also that I have six new cloths here, well newly laundered cloths. Usually you can reuse your cloths four or maybe five times before they start squirting juice at you. When they start squirting, I press the water out, set them aside to dry, and put them in the laundry hamper. Then I launder them with a little bit of bleach to get them white again. You can use hydrogen peroxide, I use bleach. And then I wash them again without soap and bleach, because I want to get a really thorough rinse. So let's start making some juice with three ladles full of pulp in each cloth and I'm going to demonstrate my less work six cloth method. You flatten this and fold it into thirds like I'm doing here. Set that aside because we're going to press two cloths full at once. You get better pressure that way. Now the first two cloths are going to go in the press. Make sure your press is on the plate properly, centered left to right, centered front to back, adjust it if necessary all the way back and I'm going to back it off a little because I don't want that to go up too fast. And we'll continue with more cloths full of pulp. And here's my sixth cloth less work method. You pull this forward, this goes over, the step cloths go on top at the back. Two more cloths in the press. Center left to right, make sure your tray's on properly. Centered front to back, adjusted if necessary, all the way back and back it off a little. Now one method of the six cloth less work method is to take your spent pulp and put it back in the bowl inside the puddle of juice that's forming there to absorb all that juice. And then three more scoops. Another method is to put the spent, put the new pulp on top of the spent pulp, but only two scoops. And when you're on your last cloth, advance that all the way. And again, my last work six cloth net, you pull this forward, this goes over, the spent cloths go on top. Two more cloths in the tray. Centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit. And that's it all the way when you're on your last cup. Remember, keep your eye on the bowl. And we're doing a very small batch today. So actually the amount of turmeric and ginger is actually double in the last video. You use a spatula to get all this precious pulp because I don't want to waste anything. I grew most of this myself. Side. I'm going to back it off. Now because my bowl is full, I'm not going to press these other cloths until I put this into bottles. So this goes forward, this goes over, the spent cloths go on top, 
Now I'm going to set my tray back and I want to give you a little tip. You don't set it back just a little bit. You set it back a lot so it's obvious. You don't want to accidentally forget and damage your tray. So set it back a lot and let's put this into bottles. Notice I'm leaving about 10% for some filtered water. I use distilled water because I have a water distiller. The juice is very, very dense and very, very rich, so adding some water is actually a good thing. I've had a few people say, well, why are you going to dilute your juice? Well, it's too concentrated anyway, so let's make more juice. What I'm going to do with this spent pulp now is I'm going to form it into a tighter package, and then I'm going to demonstrate how much more juice you can get with the whole health foundation model that has the bottom plate that's solid. The bottom plate, by the way, has a lifetime warranty. And it enables you to get 10% more juice from your produce. Now look at my folding technique where I'm folding that under. That's going to minimize slippage and I'll do that in both directions. Folding it under. I'll flatten that, set it aside, and that's that all the way. Now as you can see, I've repackaged all the spent pulp into three very tight, smaller packages. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a measuring beaker to measure how much extra juice we can get using a whole health foundation model juicer with that solid bottom plate. So let's put two of these in here. Remember we've already pressed out most of the juice that you would have if you used a Norwalk juicer. So all the way back, back it off a little bit because I don't want that to go up too fast. Another way you could do it is put it all the way back and when you get juice flow back it up. Let's do it that way. There's juice flow back it a little bit. The whole idea is not to go up too fast. So once you get traction between the two claws, you can advance it all the way. Center, front to back, left to right, all the way back. And when I get juice flow, I'm going to back that off. Well, so far we've got 15 ounces. That's amazing from this small batch. And back that off a little bit. And then advance it all the way. Looks like we're getting 17 ounces of juice from the reprocessed pulp. Well, what I'm going to do now is pour that in here and we'll fill some more bottles. Alright, now I'm topping this off with distilled water. And I have five, seven bottles of juice plus enough for a taste test from this very small batch. And I'll put these caps on it and put them in the fridge. Now, as you can see from this small batch of juice, I got seven bottles. And remember, more than one of these bottles was from processing the already spent pulp. And we have enough for a taste test. So let's do a taste test. So my friends, here we have another anti-inflammatory spine cord health juice made on a Whole Health Foundation premium juicer. So let's make a taste test. Boy, that is delicious. I always love juice that has French sorrel in it. French sorrel will cleanse every gland in your body. And the extra ingredients that I showed you earlier in the video will help promote spine health and serves as an anti-inflammatory juice. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. See you in the next video. Boy, that's delicious.